Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Shares. If you are new to my channel, if you've been around, you know that you are most definitely welcome. On today's clip, I'm going to be so quick and share with you a makeup tutorial, a very simple, very affordable and a beginner friendly makeup. This is something I had promised some of my subscribers and today I just thought it's the day because it's been long overdue. So anyway, without wasting so much time, let's go ahead and start this. So. As you can see, this is how my face looks right now. No moisturizer, no nothing. I just went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because I have an extra video for my eyebrows, which I'm going to leave in the info box below. So be sure to check that if you need um, an eyebrow tutorial. So anyway, we're going to start with the face. So of course, <laughs> so we're going to start with this. This is my moisturizer. It's from Neutrogena and i love it so much so you're going to need that much and you're just going to massage this all over your face so once i'm done with that of course this is a very very important step you are going to need a primer. A primer is very important because you don't want to stay oily after two hours, you know. So the one I'm using is from NYX or NYX if you like. And uh, this one is called Photo Loving Primer. I just decided to try this. So I'm going to apply this all over my face again. I get quite oily around my T-zone and around there. So once I have that, I will go ahead and um, apply my foundation. Okay, so that's the next step. The foundation I'm using is this one here. So this is the L'Oreal True Match. I did a video of this, a review. Um, in case you haven't checked that out, I'm going to leave a link in the info box so that you get to see how it works for my face and if I encourage you to try it or not okay <laughs> so the brush i'm using is this one here and you have to shake first of all the foundation and then you just put about that much so i'm gonna start off with this So as you can see, a little goes a long way with this foundation. I love it so much. Once I'm done with that, I will use my beauty blender to just uh, blend in the foundation, you know, and make sure it's perfectly blended. Yeah. <laughs> so the next step, you'll need a concealer. And the one I'm using is uh, Elegal Pro Conceal. And I'm using this in a um, in, uh, phone. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to need this for under my eyes. So this is also the type of, uh, the kind of makeup I apply every day, you know, like for my work. Because I don't need too much. So for every day, you just 
need a little bit of the concealer you don't need so much you know like you're going out in the night <laughs> So and then since you already have the concealer you can apply some over there and some on your chin and along the bridge of your nose Once you have that, you need a beauty blender to once again just blend in the concealer. So and you can see how smooth this is, you know, it blends in so well. And on the other side. Once you're done doing that, it's time to set in your concealer simply because you don't want it to move around, you know, throughout the day. And what I'm going to use to, for this is the Sacha Buttercup setting powder and using the same uh, beauty blender, you're going to use this side and tap in the powder and just apply it under uh, your eyes and all the places that you applied the concealer. So what I like doing is, is I like applying this over there as well. So next you're going to need a brush like this and I'm going to use this to just blend in the concealer. Now this is a step you can skip, you don't necessarily need this as a beginner <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to share it, is you can use a contour powder, so normally I just use this one and this is from Profusion. Since I'm using a powder, I'll use this brush here and just tap on the, cons uh, on the contour and apply this on this part here. And a little bit along my nose.
So once you're done with that, it's time to just use your powder and uh, like use your finishing powder for the whole face. So the finishing powder I'm using is from uh, L'Oreal True Match again. So both the powder and the foundation can be found at the drugstore, you know, your local drugstore, they're from L'Oreal. So yeah, very affordable. I think both of them costed 10, 10 each, 10 euros, you know, so this is something that can last you about six months. So I just use this to tap, first of all. So you don't want to put too much of the powder, you know, a little is just enough, so about that much. Yeah, so once I'm done, what's the next step? The next step is the blush. You can choose to skip this step, but I love my blush so much, so I'm just going to show you how I do this. <laughs> so the blush I'm using is this one here from Pro Artist. So the shade I use, you, I either use this or this. This one just broke. <laughs> so yeah, let me just go in with this one because it's not too much color. And then for the blush, you have to smile. You always have to smile before you apply your blush, like so. Just a little bit. You don't want to look too red. <laughs> yeah, so that's for the blush. I think I put a little bit too much. In case you've put too much blush, just go back with a brush and um, wipe that out with a powder brush, okay? So the next thing I do is I use my highlighter. So the one I'm using is from Kiko. It's um, called Radiant Touch. And I'm using this highlighter brush. So I'm just going to dab a little bit. Okay, not a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to dab that on the brush and apply this here on my cheekbones. You know, you just want some dewy look, dewy look. Don't put too much, you know, you don't want it to look too unrealistic. And I also put a little bit here. And then I use this tiny brush to put the highlighter on the bridge of my nose. Tiny whiny. <laughs> the next thing, uh, as a beginner, <laughs> you'll need a cudgel pencil. So I just use this to draw under my waterline. Like so. Yeah, and we are actually almost good to go. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm going to use my mascara. For a beginner, you don't necessarily need the fake lashes. Just start off with the mascara alone, you know, like so. Lastly, my lovelies, I'm going to do my um, lip. Uh, yeah. For the lips, I'm going to need my lip 
um, liner so the one I'm using is from P2 I think they ran out they, they no longer have the brand anymore in the in the drug stores but yeah maybe you can check online so that's the uh, it's in number yeah so this is P2 Glamour Diva very affordable also So once I have that on, I'll just go ahead and use my uh, lip gloss. So the one I'm using is from NYX or NYX and this is the Ginger Snap. So I love this lip gloss so much. It smells like chocolate and it's really nude so I like the combination of this and this color. As you can see my lips are quite dry. It's because we have winter right now. So that's why you need some gloss. So, you see how nice that blends in. <laughs> So lastly, you, you're going to need a setting spray. So the one I'm using is Prep and Prime from MAC. You can also try out the matte uh, finish, matte finish fini matte from NYX. It's also really nice though. I'm having um, trouble using it because I get uh, breakout. I got breakout from it. But you can give it a try. Maybe your skin will not react from uh, from using it. So um, that's why I'll just go ahead and use my normal uh, prep and prime. So let's do this. <laughs> so you need to like lift it a little bit higher. You know, like. 30 centimeters away from your face and then you just spray it all over your face like so. I love how refreshing this is usually <laughs> so this is going to just dry off and you are ready to go as you noticed I did not do my um, my eyelids you know because for me this is more of a uh, beginner friendly makeup this is a makeup you can wear on a daily basis you know if you're in a hurry if you don't want to look like you have too much on your face you can just go like so and that's it my dears this is my beginner friendly makeup tutorial for all my dear ladies out there who are so much afraid of trying makeup because one they feel like they're not going to get it right you know or it's too expensive no there are so much great stuff you can get from the drug from the drug stores that are going to still give you a bump look and are good in quality so once again i'm going to list down everything i used down in the info box and in case you have any other question concerning the look i did today make sure to ask and i'm going to get back to you as quick as i can that's all for today i really hope to catch you all in my next video if you are new please be sure to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to click on the bell so that you get notified as soon as i post something so yeah thank you so much for stopping by i love you so much stay blessed stay warm uh yeah see you in my next video bye